up ladies and gentlemen and welcome again to another show of Air of the Geeks. My name is Han and I am here at Lucro PC's lab. Thank you Lucro PC for letting me use the lab to do my reviews. You can check them out here for the link. So what I have here is the Palette GTX 1080 Game Rock Premium. There's actually a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna put some B-roll here. You're gonna see that over here, it's gonna light up and you can change colors to basically there's like uh, purple, there's blue, there's green, there's orange, there's red. I am not going to go in depth like the overclocking and everything because I am not that kind of person to do overclocking. I'm going to go with the basic technical specifications of the Pilot GTX 1080 Game Rock Premium which is you can compare with the 1080 Founders Edition that Nvidia has set up. So the base clock of the Pilot GTX 1080 Game Rock Premium is 1746 megahertz where the boost clock is 1885 megahertz. That's 1885 megahertz. That's a lot different than the Founders edition where I think the base clock is already 1600 and the boost clock is only about 17,000 sorry 1700 1700 megahertz around there give or take a few now the CUDA cores is 2560 cores which is really going to help you in terms of video editing it's gonna help you with the color correction and everything it's gonna help you with the uh, all your editing softwares the 3d rendering the cinema 4d all the nuke stuff all the after effects stuff it's gonna help you there as long as you have the updated version of the softwares it's going to help you there updated drivers from the nvidia website or the palette website so the power connector that this card uses are one six pin and another one is an eight pin power connector well in terms of the design yes it is thick it takes up two and a half of your pcie slots but it cools really really well the temperature never went above 60 even at full load like i said i never tried to overclock it so i never give it more power so in terms of design it's got the white over here it's got the blue accent over here it's got the metallic gray over here it's got black fans over here and it has the back plate which is which it says game rock over here i'm not really sure if you're into this kind of uh, design well you know what i asked myself when i got this card for review um i asked myself how am i going to really benchmark this graphic card because really i only have a 1080p monitor i don't have a 1440p i don't have a 4k or a 5k 6k 8k or whatever the resolution people are gaming right now on so what i thought is what could a really powerful graphic card that's like about 3000 ringgit that's about uh, i don't know what's that in us dollars could really do for a 1080p resolution monitor so instead of me just showing the benchmarks of the gaming and whatever not that other reviewers are doing why not i just play a game and show you the fps in the video one thing to note right now is that the 1440 and the 4k gaming benchmarks that you see on other reviewers websites is really pretty much the standard nowadays to be uh, benchmarking your graphic card because 1080p monitors are really kind of mainstream right now so it's not really pushing the limit but my setup this is what I could only afford right now for my production so this is what the best I could give Alright, so you have seen the benchmarks of gaming with this graphic card. I'm sorry, I only have a 1080p monitor. And as you can see from the benchmarks themselves, it is a really, really overkill graphic card if you are just gaming on a 1080p monitor. This is not made for 1080p monitors. But however, if you are buying this still and you are using a 1080p monitor, but if you, you have the monitor that supports G-Sync and 144Hz and you're good to go. So again, the retail price for this uh, Pilot GTX 10 
80 game rock premium without the G panel um, yeah there's a variant there's two variants of it with the G panel and without this goes for 3280 ringgit what I think uh, if you are using this for a 1080p monitor and you are looking for long term and you're not planning to upgrade to a 4k monitor and everything it's gonna work just fine even at 4k you've seen the benchmarks and everything it runs smoothly at, at 60 fps you've seen the benchmarks other people have uh, posted up online it works really well so 1080p it's good to go for the next like three or four years no problem no problem at all so 1440 it, it depends it depends so guys thank you again for watching my video and thank you again to lucro pc for letting me use the lab for the review and here's the link again there's a link in the description below as well thank you palit for sending me this card for a review i really enjoyed gaming it so much on this even though i have a 1080p monitor well i get to use a 1080 card <laughs> you know it the name the name is exactly the name, the same one, the model of the card, the NVIDIA GTX 1080 is exactly the same as my monitor's resolution, you know, it suits well. I'm just, uh, I'm just saying that to uh, comfort myself because I don't have a bigger resolution monitor right now. Okay, 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 I'm sorry guys, I don't have a better resolution to test the card to its maximum limits for you guys, but I can assure you if you continue supporting my channel, I will be better at this i will have more better uh, equipments to test all the, uh, the the reviews the hardwares that i have that are uh, coming in soon probably i'm gonna have the uh, 1070 and the 1060 and even the amd's rx 480s it depends uh, we'll see so do what you're supposed to do with my channel and like subscribe share dislike or whatever you want to do with the channel as long as you're showing support to it the only way I can show appreciation for you guys is to be doing giveaways but I can't you give away this if this is too way out of my league to be doing uh, giveaways for you guys so I'm gonna have some other reviews and some other giveaways for you guys and I appreciate you guys for supporting my channel uh, you didn't know how many takes I tried to, to speak to say the word appreciation 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 my god I am talking too much and not ending the video so like, share, subscribe, dislike, uh, comment and whatever you want with this video it shows a really big support and thank you guys as always Air of the Geeks. So do what you're supposed to do like show appreciation appreci appreciation to show appreciation so to show the support so to show, so to show the support, <laughs> to so to show the. Ap Whoa! I went in the match.